Well, COVID-19, it has dominated the news in our lives the past two years. And while we're getting a bit of respite with declining cases, the pandemic is certainly not over yet. The physical damage may take years to discover and treat, and patients are in it for the long haul. Our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, brings us their stories and the science that will help them. Tonight, we kick things off with a miracle man, COVID Joe. April 27th, 2020, Joe Nero is in trouble and heading to Hillcrest Hospital with severe abdominal pain and numbness in his legs. It's the start of the pandemic. Joe and his family have taken the virus very seriously. So he thinks the pain could be anything but COVID. But Joe was wrong. I don't even remember getting dropped off. And the next thing you know, I wake up in August. <laughs> His coronavirus odyssey brought the 58-year-old Chagrin Falls man to death's door more than a few times. Each time, Joe Nero fought back. When I went in there, I was a solid 220. I could move a mountain. I was 154 pounds. I couldn't walk. I couldn't lift my arms. I talked to my brother outside the window and with the phone, I can't even hold the, the phone up and I just not off. Six months in six different Cleveland Clinic hospital centers. He doesn't remember much. 170 days at once. The list of serious complications Joe faced, long and frightening. At times, a ventilator kept him alive, just barely. Every setback, potentially deadly, and all stemming from a COVID infection. Dr. Michael Pollack was the last of a long list of doctors Joe had to see. I mean, the first thing I thought was, wow, this guy's alive. I'm looking at him like almost like a miracle man. This is a man made out of steel, but not only like physically, but also from a mental standpoint. The Cleveland Clinic did a fantastic job, but we all have our limits. That was the deciding factor. Without Jesus, this wasn't happening. Joe finally returned home, his faith still strong and intact, but with a body that felt foreign. It was like the, the, the hospital was my home and this was a place I was visiting. Joe Nero is the face of a COVID long hauler, his myriad of lingering symptoms extensive. Rehab and continuing doctor visits dominated 2021. He's learned there is no end date for how long these symptoms will last or if they'll ever go away. But Joe does know this. I get a second chance where a lot of these people that had all this, 90% of them are gone. Friends, relatives, we had gone. It's gone. It's, it was hard. This long hauler has a message for others. Don't minimize the human cost of COVID. Not just now, but down the road too. And to see the amount of families that have been lost by this and the amount of people that are gonna be affected by this years to come, it's scary. I'm just gonna live life as best as I can and get back to normal whatever that means anymore, get back to normal as much as possible. 595 days after he became sick, Joe Nero finally returned to work. His quest to get as much of his life back from COVID is still ongoing. And over the next several months, we're taking a deeper dive into the science and studies of patients like Joe as part of our ongoing coverage of the COVID long haul. Russ and Laura, back to you.